Questions and comments? Question and comment. The Honourable Member for Huron, Bruce. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to uh, rise to ask the Minister a question today. I believe the opposition is uh, left out a lot of facts and a lot of uh, significant points to the debate today. Uh, we're talking about liability and risk, and one of the risks here is talking about nuclear. There are some vast differences between Fukushima and the reactors we have here in Canada. We have CANDU reactors here that are heavy water reactors. In Japan, they were using light water reactors that use enriched uranium. Then if we look at the geography of the location of reactors, let's talk about Ontario specifically, they're along the Great Lakes, not high risk to tsunamis or earthquakes. Take a look at Fukushima, right on the ocean, right in a fault line. Also, the design and the safety components are vastly different between the reactors at Fukushima and the reactors at Kandu. When you're talking about liability, you're talking about insurance, you have to fight, face the facts and the risks. They've been working on this for years. They've got it right. I wonder if the Minister can expand on this. The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Well, important points. That sounds like a Member of Parliament who isn't, hasn't just focused and disciplined on becoming uh, a subject matter expert on key components of this, but who has also engaged his, his uh, community or his communities uh, with um, obviously uh, some uh, deference to what that means to uh, his uh, constituents. And he was right to point out uh, Fukushima uh, as a template for some of the discussion in terms of the elements of this legislation, a post Fukushima review uh, by a task force created by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission confirmed in October 2011, Mr. Speaker, that Canadian plants are robust, they have a strong design relying on multiple layers of defence, safety measures are being augmented based on the review to further reduce the likelihood of an incident from external events and to increase the effectiveness of emergency managed measurements. Those important facts, Mr. Speaker, and I agree with the member that the NDP are on a pretty consistent fact-free diet when we put these debates uh, out on the floor, suggest to me that not only is this legislation important, reasonable, uh, responsible, and reflect the modern uh, reality uh, of nuclear energy in Canada and around the world, but it's done, been done very thoughtfully in a scientific and factual base that respects and understands the state of nuclear energy in Canada. I thank the member for his question.